Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider PU build for the dev channel, which is the build 26120.2222. In this video, we have a very small build for the dev channel, but as always, we're covering every build from the Insider channels. So in this build, we have a few things that are worth to be mentioned and a few changes that we're going to cover in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads. Like this one so let's begin with the video we have only one change in this build and that is related to the start menu or the taskbar basically whenever you hold shift and control when clicking on a jump list item in start menu or taskbar this will now launch that item as admin just like if you were to do shift plus control and click the app icon itself so as an example maybe you have the windows terminal pinned on your taskbar of course when you press shift and control and then click on the terminal it will be opened up as admin and you can also do that by right clicking if you have the jump list Again, shift plus control, click on terminal or PowerShell. You're going to have the administrator privileges with that. We also have a few fixes in this build. For example, related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue causing the see more menu to open in the wrong direction and potentially display off screen as a result. Related to input, fixed an underlying issue which could cause the mouse to unlock from a game window on a system with multiple monitors after opening and closing game bars so you couldn't use it within the game. Related to windowing, Microsoft fixed a recent issue causing windows to potentially unexpectedly move around after waking from sleep if you had multiple monitors. And we also have another fix for an issue which could lead to the registry editor going unresponsive if you pressed alt after clicking on the license information in the about section. We also have a new known issue that basically will cause an editor to crash and launch if you use one of the natural voices. So that will be fixed in a future build. So basically this is all there is to it in the dev channel. Not a lot of things in this latest build but of course it's better than nothing. So for more information you can always check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. As you manage from TickBase, until next time, have a nice day.